just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailor man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for, for a 30-hour tour, a 30-hour tour. They started getting rough, the tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of a fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be lost. The ship's aground on the shore of this uncharted desert isle. With Gilligan, the skipper too. The millionaire and his wife. The movie star, the professor and Mary Ann. Here on Vancouver Island. Okay, now that was funny. Hey there, folks and friends. Connecting Dots here, September 9, 2014. Okay, so we have uh, an ongoing show here that's going to be going on, I figure, for about 30 days. And uh, this video here is put up by uh, Chief Bailiff here on my website. Uh, if you haven't checked it, we've got this ongoing forum here regarding, uh, or I should say, a thread on the forum regarding debunking Beautiful Girl by Dana, the nuclear proctologist. And if you haven't seen the latest editions here by Claire Hope on YouTube, well, she's got some fabulous footage here. And the best one here, is this one here she goes right down to Gibson's ferry and debunks him right at one ferry dock loaded with mussels beyond your belief there's all kinds of sea life there just at that one little dock birds unbelievable go check it out please I'll leave a link down below if you're new to this whole thing so you can go take a look at some of the past videos that have been put up on this but in this latest rendition here by Fukushima Hound Kate the Yeslin whatever she calls her first name um, we hear Dana here who's uh, again promoted by uh, Scan Cam artist uh, Jeff Rents, and I got more on him coming up here. I got some great footage here, folks. And in this latest interview, well, I had to stop really at 8:43. That's really I realize that this guy does not know what he's talking about. 14 years in the ocean. What's sad here is they're now saying that their boat was followed by drones. I'm, I'm seriously, I couldn't make this up. Uh, you got to go listen to yourself. The links down below. Go listen to this expedition for life. Poor guy, hasn't been watching my videos. Of course he has. I've shown there's lots of life here on Vancouver coast, uh, on the coastline here, right here, and right where he's saying the Strait of Juan de Fuca, which by the way, he can't seem to say it properly, but the Strait of Juan de Fuca where a uh, beautiful girl by Dana is claiming all this radiation came in and flooded the whole west coast while I happen to live right there. Go check my videos on Connecting Dots to yeah, drones following him. Very sad here, and uh, he doesn't know anything about bull kelp. He talks about having a discussion and a debate. There is no debate. Uh, anyone who's been sending him videos or any response on his uh, on his videos showing some footage of life, he's been deleting it, you know. And here again, here I just want to share with you some of my comments. I'm going to show you what's taking place here. Uh, uh, you can hit the space bar if you want to read the entire thing, okay, folks, and then hit it again to unpause the video. But basically, she's saying that. Um, you know, go ask the fishermen, go find out what's going on and get some great camera footage. We want some camera footage. And those of you that are going to participate in this West Coast Tidal Pool project that I have going on ConnectingDots1.com, uh, please get some good footage here. Not cheese, you know, he, he has these cheesy one shots and tells you there's no life. That sucks, you know, all taken from a distance. Actually, there's a lot of good comments here. Um, Unfortunately, I can't go through them all, but basically, um, I would have been in with this whole thing too, you know, because I live on the West Coast, and I'm, as I have started months ago here, how I want to raise uh, money, funds for a gamma spectrometer, because I realize I live on the straight Juan de Fuca, the same thing that Jeff Rents and a beautiful girl by Dana are talking about how this, there's so much water that comes in and out of this strait. Well, I happen to live right there, five minutes away. I can check the ocean with a gamma spectrometer, and instead, what we're faced with is what? According to Kevin, yeah, Kevin Blanchier, someone needs to call the cops on me. You know, it only gets worse. This is at the Fukushima Hound. This is the people that are backing up, Dana. It's very sad. There is no debate. This is what's going on, folks. Very sad. Yes, that's why we had to put you in the picture because this is what she's trying to start. She's actually started. Have you seen? I've already got one video flagged. So uh, she's saying, oh, well, together, all 200 of us, yeah, we only need one third. And yeah, we basically have them suspended all of his accounts, 
unbelievable here. There's no discussion, no debate, and others are, are joining in. Sad. Well, I'm going to share with you some real information. I'm not going to ban anything. And anyone who wants to send me an email, there's my email, email address right there. Okay, let's have some truth to this. Let's have a real debate. And well, this marine biologist, you know, he's, I've sent him videos here showing him what Dana's claiming, how the Sunshine Coast, no life for 200 kilometers, no insects, all the stuff. He's, he's seen all the videos. He doesn't want to get into it. Basically, he, I hit the space bar again, but basically he's saying that uh, he doesn't know what, Dana doesn't know what he's doing here. He doesn't know how to catalog. He doesn't know how, how to document species. He, he was on to talk about how he's actually been on the Sunshine Coast just this past year, and he says, yeah, my species list for impacted areas that means impacted. That doesn't mean they've vanished. Okay, folks, remember that. He says, my species list for impacted areas numbers in the hundreds of organisms. Dana's coming out saying there's, what, 5,548 species or something ridiculous? These are marine biologists here that we've been contacting. You've been, or, or you've been hearing some professional people here. I've been calling some professional people. I've been showing real articles, you know, there's no drones following them. Uh, it's sad that he would actually say that in an interview. I don't know if he's, he's trying to basically let people think that he's doing such a, a high intensive job that it's got to be undercover. It ain't so. So the drones aren't following him. There's no doubt about it. But they have been out there to save wildlife. And uh, if you've been following the law here, well, Harper has now allowed the drone, uh, uh, U.S. drones to come within 200 kilometers of our airspace. So the bull kelp, again, in this latest video, go listen to it, doesn't know anything about, about bull kelp. He goes on to say how it should be uh, loosely uh, attached to rocks and it moves from rock to rock unbelievable here I'll leave a link down below but no it's got a root like hold fast it doesn't move rock to rock and what actually does move rock to rock are these sea enemies uh, again I'll leave a link down below so you can see it this has been fast forward this is 32 minutes of what's actually going on in an aquarium and you get to see the sea enemy move around I can't play the whole video as I said I got 15 minutes basically to present my information so in this latest round here they're talking about how all these sea lions on the west coast all these stories, and by the way, I've been looking for stories every day. There's no stories except for one place. Any news? No doubt about it. So the story is that all the seals here are washing up on the west coast. Yeah, they are all been found lying on the, well, they lay on the shores. So I'm not sure if they're all dead because I haven't found any stories. But you'll, you wouldn't believe the stories are coming on. So here's a good story here. And by the way, if you've got kids in the room, get them away because I've got some really gross pictures coming up. But I'm going to tell you the truth, what's been going on in the world of seals here. No hiding. Here's the good news. Yeah, they've actually closed up a section of the beach uh, right here near Los Angeles. I should say near San Diego. One section of a beach, very small beach. And here's the latest one here, the avian flu. This is fresh off the press here, okay, in science. They've just found this latest avian flu virus, the virus that's carried by seals. And, uh, yeah, apparently it can be transmitted to humans. Should we be afraid? I don't think so. I'll leave a link down below if you want to go read this whole thing. But as I've, follow, as I've mentioned in previous vi videos, Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Neiman and uh, Jeff Rents have been hand in hand here in this swine flu propaganda. That's where I really got caught on the Jeff, Re uh, sorry, uh, Jeff Rents being corrupt when I started seeing Dr. Neiman on a sh radio show every single day doing swine flu propaganda scaring. Well, I actually joined the, um, the, f the forum that's by run by Dr. Neiman, it's called Flu Tracker Form, and I started posted real information showing how the harmful effects of uh, vaccines, and of course they banned me. So the real situation with the seal population, well, it's actually on the rise here on, on one area of the, the Atlantic, but um, it's not all downhill except when they're out there shooting them. No, I'm not making up these stories. The links are all down below here. You can see that uh, at one point, uh, well. The natives were out there hunting them for meat, but now, well, they're hiring these young ladies to go out there and actually shoot them with 12 gauge. And yes, brand them with red hot irons. Like I said, this is where it's about to get ugly. If you have kids, 
get them out of the room. I'm not going to hide the truth from you. So I'm saying this because the latest story here just came out September 4th. While this 17-year-old uh, here was charged with being branded, and if you go watch, uh, read the entire story, it gets near the end here, uh, midway, it talks about him having suffered third-degree burns, uh, blood infection, which could have resulted in death if left untreated. So what are they doing to the seals? Like I said, get the kids out of the room. It's about to get ugly. So I'm just warning right now, if you don't like gruesome images, uh, you may choose to turn this video off right now. But I'm not going to hide the truth. I'm going to tell you folks what's actually taking place in the world of seals and sea lions. So some are branded, some are tagged, and some are used in research. But uh, it's much worse than that because they're actually targeted also since 2008. So the article talks about how there's been 40 sea lions here in 2008 that were taken away and uh, in the end uh, some of them went to zoos and 25 were killed by lethal injection. But that wasn't uh, the beginning, I should say the, the end of it because it continued on here. It says in 2013, 45 were euthanized and another 13 were sent to a zoo. And uh, yeah, very sad situation here and um, in this one, this one article here, they talk about drowning, but uh, you know, it, it gets much worse than that. Just the fact that they're being branded right down through their skin, and I got some pretty nasty images here, so you may want to, like I said, leave if you don't like it. So what I found out is he had a hat from the Sea Shepherds, and uh, there he is, uh, yeah, red hot poker right into their backs. And uh, okay, so. Again, this year, this hasn't stopped. As you can see here, the smoke coming out. Uh, yeah. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to watch the entire footage here. But basically, as you can see, everyone's kind of turning their head. And he's even looking down. He's looking the other direction. Well, because there's a guy in here, and he just poked one of the sea lions. And there comes the puff of smoke off the sea lion's back. Yeah. Rather gross. Uh, this is taking place here, uh, as you can see the date down below, and the very next day, what they do? G went back out and started the whole thing all over again. Captured another group of sea lions, and uh, yeah, they're going to continue on. If you notice in the background of that other one, these are all, all other sea lions that I have not, most likely not been branded because I don't think they'd be sticking around. And um, you notice how they're all hiding this whole thing, whereas in the beginning, in that first image, they weren't hiding. Well, because there's a growing protest here, people are disgusted with this. And uh, closer to home here in Canada, and well, this is kind of relating to Beautiful Girl by Dana, I'm sure he must be aware of, uh, well, club hunting. Um, if not, folks, uh, like I said, I've been telling you to get out of here if you don't like these images, but I'm not, I'm not going to hide, I'm not going to hide from you what's actually taking place here. Um, e even as far back here as 2013, this latest one, uh, Sea Hunt described as one of the best in years. So I'm not making up this stuff here. Uh, even the federal quota here was 400,000, but they only got 91,000. So not a pretty sight, I realize that, but I'm not about to hide things from you. I'd rather you have a, a, an inside view of actually what's going on and connect the dots and try to understand that everything is exactly as it's perceived to be. And uh, yeah, it's happening everywhere. Canada, US, Africa, it's happening all over. And, you know, and uh, differences, I guess, in Africa, there's only one man apparently responsible for all of the pelts there. And uh, I'll leave a link down below if you want to go sign this petition, and hopefully it'll make a change. But honestly, um, I'm not sure if it will, be honest. Uh, things are really hard to change when there's money involved and, uh, well, glamour, the fur jackets, the fur coats, uh, or in this case, it's sea lion pelts. Yeah, so uh, again here, this is uh, not new, started way back then, 2007, there's other stories here, 1998, I'll leave a link down below, and it's just very sad that we have energy news that are taking these stories and just going crazy with them instead of actually sticking with the real story where it's, you know, it's neurological disease caused by the blooms and the pups, because the parents are sick, can't take care of their young ones, so they're being watched or I should say they're, they end up being stranded and they're starving because, uh, you know, mom and um, just can't take care of them. So uh, again here, they're taking stories and they're, uh, well, 
you know what, trying to blame it all on Fukushima? Well, that's what's in the video here that Jeff Rents is quoting, taking all these stories. So on the one hand, they want you to adopt a pup. Wouldn't it not be better to actually try and stop all these killings? I'll leave a link down below, and you'll see here that these tumors that he's talking about, even back in 2007 here on the west coast, California, I uh, should say uh, British Columbia, they had these sea lines with tumors. So, uh, um, you know, I don't know what to say. It's very sad. They're not going to tell you the truth. I'll leave the links. You can go watch, see the cameras yourself. And don't forget, if you missed the show Connecting Dots 2, you can always come see it at Connecting Dots 1 on the forum here. It's key. I'm staying updated, okay? Take care, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video.